Hey kids, great to see you again. So uh, today's video is actually sponsored by Luberderm uh, Advanced Therapy Lotion. I've showed you the Advanced Therapy Cream before. Luberderm has been a great sponsor of me and they make a good product. So thank you Luberderm for sponsoring this video. Uh, so what I'm gonna show you today is, this is a little bit of a tricky video. I didn't know what to name it really, but it's uh, I'm gonna show you how to, uh, I'm putting mortar, I'm building, uh, some steps in my backyard out of flat with flagstone and mortar and when you first lay the mortar uh and lay the the flagstone on this in, in place you use a trowel but then uh to fine tune it you kind of need to get in some cracks and stuff and i've always done that with just with my fingers because it's just easy to do and you'll see that in the video but uh and then yeah so uh, I'll show you. So that's why it's, it's sponsored by Luberderm as well, because you'll you'll want to re-moisturize your hands uh, when you're all done with this. Uh, so, but first, before we do it, I do have a dad joke for you. So, what was my dad joke for today? <laughs> I remember. Uh, so, why don't you write? Why shouldn't you write with a broken pencil? Because it's pointless. Ah. So, anyway, let's get started. All right, so here's our flagstone steps that we're in the middle of uh, putting in. I put in concrete um, blocks first, and then now I'm just covering them with concrete steps. So, or I'm sorry, with flagstone uh, on top of the concrete. So if you take a look here though, so these have been, set, been setting up for close to a week. So you wanna be careful, you know, wa walking on them. You wanna make sure that the mortar's set. So there's mortar in each of these joints here, okay? See the mortar? But you, as you can see, the mortar kind of fell through here when we were doing it, but I didn't want to mess with it too much, right? Um, one thing when you're messing, or when you're putting down mortar on these steps too, is you want to make sure this stuff gets cleaned off because it's easy to, to leave mortar here. And then this ends up, uh, it's hard to, get, <laughs> hard to get it off. So we came out here and gently scrubbed and scrubbed right around the edges. You still end up with a little bit, but I think we can get the most of it off because uh, you know, if you're, gonna do a, if you're doing it quick and you think, oh, it looks great, and then it dries, it's hard to get that stuff back off. So anyway, what I'm gonna do now with the mortar is see this board that I have. I'm gonna put that board up underneath here and I'm just gonna put some wedges on it, okay? And just fill in these cracks with mortar uh, the last little bit so that that can dry and then I'll just let that set overnight and then it'll be fine. So it'll sit sit up inside inside there okay okay so i just put that board underneath there and then i just put a couple wedges underneath too to hold it so that the, the mud won't fall through there's a little bit of a hole there uh just because things are uneven but that's okay um because i'm going to mix my mud a little bit thicker so it's not going to be very runny but i can put it down inside there so for this project, I'm just using this little cup here um, and just gonna mix up just a little bit and just add a little bit of water at a time because I wanna keep it the right consistency rather than mix up a big batch because we're just gonna use a little bit. Okay, so that's just about the right consistency right there. Okay, so for this job, I'm just gonna actually just use my fingers and kind of work it in there because you want to make sure you don't get it on the sides too okay if you can and we'll just wipe that off see that's a perfect consistency if you if you went thicker it would uh it would fall through or, or if you went uh runnier i'm sorry yeah if you went runnier it would fall through and we want to make sure to pack that good against here too right because we're trying to make sure that it's all the way down inside there. Okay. We want that to look look nice and not have a hole there, right? So I think that's pretty good. Okay. And then we'll come back and kind of clean that up. We want to make sure it doesn't get get dry on your stone, otherwise it's going to be hard to get that off. Okay. Okay, that's that one. 
You could wear gloves with this too. And so I'm gonna show you how this ends up drying out your hands. You can kind of see it already right there on my fingertips. See, it's starting to draw the moisture out of my hands. Let's go ahead and do the one over here too. All right, so here's this one. It's kind of a bigger one on the bottom of it. You want to pack it in good, right? So that it's not just on the surface. You want to make sure it's kind of pushed down inside there. So that it holds. You don't want it to just be on the top and then it, it's going to end up falling through. pretty big here so and then kind of the same thing you want to make sure you, you clean it off good Let's see if we can push that up there I think that looks good. Okay, I'm gonna make my forms for my other ones too. I'm just gonna put another board over here on this bottom because I got good consistency with this and I'm, so I'm gonna finish that up. All right, so I'm putting these up now too underneath here on the risers. And you can see there's little gaps where the, the pieces fit together. So this is a good one too that, um, you know, you could probably wear gloves, but I just have found that a finger works uh, so much. It's just so much easier. So I'm gonna do that. And then, so you end up with the stuff on your, on your hands, but so you just gotta make sure to use a moisturizer at the end, right? So, but it fills in those gaps and um, when, you know, this is kind of like a in, indoors when you're um, putting up molding. If you if you fill those cracks in, because uh, those your eyes drawn to that, right? And so by just filling it in and taking that shadow away, it's going to make it look a lot nicer, right? So we're just going to fill that in. And there's actually some along here too that I'm going to fill in. My my uh, mud might be a little bit runny for this, but. I normally like it a little bit drier, so I'll probably add a little bit more to it, but see that? It's just so much easier with the finger. If I tried to use my trowel, it's just hard to, to get it to look right, right? So you just gotta make sure you clean this up when we're done so that that cement's not sitting on top because it'll be harder to get it off once it's dry. See that? It just takes that right away, so your eye's not drawn to that anymore. Just to get rid of the shadow. Do it on the bottom again. Okay, but it is rough on your hands. Okay, so you can see that my hands took a little bit of a beating there. Uh, so I'm gonna clean it up, but you can see that um, things kind of got dried out a little bit. You can see it kind of chapped there, right? So I'm gonna go wash them first and then I'm gonna add Lubriderm. 
and they they make this in a, this is a lotion, uh, but they also make it in a cream too. So I think I've showed you the cream before, so I'm gonna use the lotion this time, but let me go clean my, wash my hands first. All right, so I just washed my hands, but you can really see where it's still, they're still kind of uh, dry and they really feel dry too. So it's good to add moisture back to your hands. And I've done this before where I've uh, washed my hands and then uh, didn't moisturize them. And then later on in the day, you can really feel it or later on in the night after we've done it, after we've worked with that mortar. So there you go. Okay. So I hope that was helpful for you. Uh, it's, again, just getting in those cracks like that, it's just so much easier to use your to use your fingers and then just make sure you clean up afterwards. You don't want to have mortar on your flagstone and let it dry. So you got to keep an eye on that. So you get it down inside there and then make sure you clean it off good. So you saw me brushing it away uh, because you don't want to have any kind of haze stuck on your flagstone. But uh, anyway, it is hard on your hands. So again, thank you Lubriderm for sponsoring this video. And I thank you for watching and God bless you.